Hello everyone, this is Robert from CallMeTechSavvy.com where we give you the best in tech news, tech skills, so that you can be tech savvy. Hey, uh, we did a post previously on an application called um, HTML Editor 12.9 from um, Coffee Cup. Um, and today, I just want to do a a review of the application we're actually going to get into the application and do some things I want to show you how it works um, and I want you to leave comments go to the over to our website www.callmetechsavvy.com um, that's tech t-e-c-h savvy s-a-v-v-y dot com leave some comments on the website go to our YouTube um, channel uh, call me tech savvy leave as much inf information as you want and much comments as you want and, and we'll appreciate them. Um, so we've already installed the software and we have it uh, running and the first thing I want you to notice um, is that you have a tip of the day. Again so this this software as I told you in a previous um, uh, video uh, this software does three things I believe that every um, web de development tool or HTML editor or IDE should do. Um, it should help make your process easier, faster, and overall just better. When it comes down to the project or the product, when it comes down to the design, it should do three things. Make it easier, faster, and better. And, and I believe that this software does that, and it does it well um, no matter uh, what your skill level is. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're an intermediate uh, website designer doing code markup or, or whether you're a professional whether you do it by trade I think I think this is a piece of software that's really going to help you again so you see the tip of the day here um, when you select my website tab on the left side screen you'll see two tabs so on and so forth so it makes it really easy okay every day it'll give you a tip that will help you to learn the software because a lot of things about software um, uh, that that I find is that it's so much involved in sometimes good pieces of software uh, to where many features get left out. There's a lot of functionality that people just don't know about. So I, I think any piece of software, any application that has a tip of a day or or good um, help manual, I, I think it it really does you well. Okay, so we'll close this here. Um, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time um, on it, but just want to highlight a few things here. Um, so here at, at at your welcome screen you have you have a couple of options you can create a blank page um, you can do a new project you can open up with a theme a few different things like that uh, let's let's start looking at the theme here um, what's so good about coffee cup uh, this HTML editor is that it comes with just a few layouts already you can click on uh, this button here it will take you to the website you're able to purchase some you're even able to download some other free layouts but if you don't want to start completely from scratch it has a few layouts that you can um, add and you can even save some of the things you're doing as layouts you can build your own templates so that you can constantly add to them and you won't have to uh, start each project uh, from scratch so I, I think that's that's a bonus there um, you have a quick start option on the file you have quick start option um, and I kind of mentioned this before in kind of my, my intro uh, video about uh, coffee cup um, you can do a few cool things here to to the point where you can almost start designing a website just by filling in the blanks you know your page title we can call this uh, test website um, you can go ahead and get your styles together, even your background page color. Um, begin to upload your images. You know all those these different things. The doc type, whether you're doing HTML5 or 4.01 uh, strict, whatever the case may be. Meta tag, meta tag descriptions. You can do all of that. You hit OK, and then what it does here, it brings um, up some HTML that that's already started. Um, is is ready to roll. You can begin to edit it with um, your inline um, or internal CSS and you can do all that good stuff uh, or you can um, erase and add to and just begin to just to do some really cool things um, 
you can add new HTML page, new CSS page, and it only takes a second. It's just a click to begin to add these things in. Um, you can import your packages as I, as I said before. And this is all the standard things that you will find with any application, any good application. Okay. Um, one of the things that I mentioned before, and again I'm just highlighting, randomly highlighting a few things, um, is that with this software it has the auto-complete or the auto-suggest. It will begin to suggest some things to you. So for instance, we're down here line uh, 28. If you were to begin to type the div tag, you can just hit enter, you select it, and you see you it just opens and closes the tags for you, um, even when you start to do attributes. See, and that makes it so much easier. Again, you want a so piece of software like this to make your job easier. And you can imagine how fast it's going to also make this process um, just with that one uh, functionality. Um, check this out over here on the side. In these panels here, a um, few things. You have the My Websites tab, which saves all of your projects and in a project default project folder and of course you can change that um, you have access to the local drives now under code I, I like this so much because you can kinda choose um, what you, what platform what are you using PHP um, CSS 2 3 um, HTML HTML 4 uh, HTML 5 XML uh, whatever the case may be you choose it and you can get a list of all of the tags and some of the attributes uh, for those tags for instance um, the article tag which is new to HTML5 just by clicking on it you get a list of attributes um, and you can actually select those and it makes again your job so much easier makes it so much easier and it makes things faster um, so I think that's a great tool also with your snippets it also includes a few snippets again you can download these you can create your uh, snippets and then save them um, so that you don't have to recreate uh, the wheel so to speak you don't have to keep on recreating your different scripts and, and snippets JavaScript and things of that nature you can already have it done you can save it um, and anytime you need it, all you have to do is pull on it. For instance, Google Maps. Click Google Maps. First of all, you see here when you highlight once, or click once rather, um, it will give you whatever uh, description that you've set um, just by you know enclosing it in the uh, comment out tags. And then you actually get to see your code there. Double clicking on it will actually add it to wherever the cursor is currently and you see here um, that it's been added there okay so now your code has been added you don't have to try to you know run out to Google to find uh, you know what was that code or you, you don't have to uh, you know pull up jump drives and go to other other documents and other projects you're working on you can save your snippets and the snippet um, uh, tool and you can continue just to add them as needed so that that makes it a whole lot easier um, Another cool thing I wanted to show you, um, which is something that's standard in in most, um, and again I'm just going through these so you can see them, um, that is standard in most um, web development uh, applications, is the fact that you have the split screen preview. I like this the split screen preview again because I, as I told you before, you can constantly make changes, and those changes will be almost immediate okay those changes would be almost immediate and and I think that it that is important so for instance let's just uh, do style um, what do we want to do uh, let's change the background color to um, I don't know let's just come up with something you see immediate I don't have to hit the refresh button I don't have to do any of that it, it happens automatically okay automatically refresh and I think that's an important an important feature to any good IDE alright um, so again there's so many cool things you can do and this was just again another intro video 
um, even your color wheels, different things like that. There's so many, so many different things uh, that you wish that your good, you know, that you had a good HTML uh, editor, something that they could do. Um, but here in this one, you know, it gives you everything you need. Um, it will even validate it for you. It will even go out to the, the the W3C website and validate your your markup. To, to let you know if you have any problems or anything like that so it, it's it's awesome just continue to um, check out our website continue to check out our, our all of our posts our YouTube channels please leave comments um, if you have anything you want us to review or check out you have any questions you just let us know um, you can email me at Robert Woodbury that's w-o-o-d-b-u-r-y at callmetechsavvy dot com or you can go over to our website, www.callmetechsavvy.com. Again, we thank you for checking out our post. Um, just have a good day.